welcome back to our Palace Marketplace overview. Uh, now we're going to talk about your different licensing options. So uh, when you're looking at the Palace Marketplace, I went ahead and picked a category. This is called Featured Picks. And what you'll do is over on the left-hand side, you want to go ahead and scroll down to take a look at your licensing options. So down here at the bottom, there are three categories that are related to licensing. License duration, loans count, and concurrent users. So these are all things that you want to take into consideration when you're purchasing your materials. Um, under license duration, you can see there's either unlimited licensing, two-year licensing, and then in one case, there is a one-month license, which is something that people will use to try out an item, or maybe it has like a couple of pull requests that you need to just fill quickly, and then you don't really want a long-term purchase with that. Um, so that's the duration overview. For loans, you can see there are many different loan types, um, you know, anywhere from unlimited loans to 55, 40, 26, 25, or five. And then for concurrent users, you can see that some of these titles allow for concurrent users and some do not. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll dig into that here a little bit. So first with the license duration, I'll go ahead and click on unlimited licensing. Uh, an example is here. You'll see this whenever there's like the green uh, EPUB symbol or whatever format might be. This is talking about the licensing. This, for example, has unlimited loans, but they check out one at a time. And you can see the details of that here. And um, basically this type of license may be good if you're going to have something like um, a book club, or if you want to know basically if this is an item that you want to have in your collection for a long time. The unlimited loans is really great. Uh, next up here is the, uh, oops, sorry, we're going back to our license duration to a two year. And now you'll see here, unlimited loans, but it only lasts for two years and one at a time. So within that period, you may have unlimited checkouts, but the two year clock is ticking. So that's something else to keep in mind that that limit is there. Um, and you can again click on the details to see the overview of the loan rules. That's how that works. And as you scroll through, you can see this is all displayed right from the main screen here and also in the book details. Yeah. So the loans count. We'll go back out to our main category here to see all the different types. There are unlimited loans. So again, we just saw those, but basically unlimited loans are available. There's also the uh, certain amount of checkouts. So like, for example, 55 loans. Uh, it'll tell you 55 loans one at a time, and then sometimes it may have the um, concurrent users. So, for example, here. Oh, and there aren't any, so you probably have to go through and sort to make sure that there are the concurrent users. Uh, a lot of times there aren't, so that's something to make sure you're looking at when you're looking at the loan details. Uh, we'll look at a few more here. So, for example. These, you can see this has two different licensing options. This uh, first one here, there's either unlimited loans with one at a time checkout or 40 loans with 10 concurrent loan checkout. Um, the price is the same. So that's really up to you and what model works best for your library. Uh, same here, unlimited loans one at a time versus 40 loans with 10 concurrent loans. And then here you can see there's a third option for this one, uh, five loans, five concurrent loans. And that one's a lot more uh, affordable than these other two. So that might be a nice option to just test out the book again and see if this is something that your patrons like. Um, so you can see many examples of this as we go through. Another thing I'd like to bring up here is this a little kind of warning thing. This says one or more licenses for this book have been acquired by your organization. And what that means is you've already bought it either. Um, Maybe this is not your first cart, or maybe if there's more than one selector who's already purchased it, it's just like a little a note to you to say, oh, you did already purchase this. So, um, you know, just double check that you want to purchase it again. All right. So that is an overview of the licensing options available on the Palace Marketplace. 